It's a whole new world we live in. Pokemon Jojo. So I did make a bit of a mistake in the last episode where I constantly was saying how Price had higher level Pokemon than than Jasmine, but I was actually wrong, looking back. I, there were different recording sessions when I fought those two, so it was a bit of a misunderstanding. But the reason I made that misunderstanding is because if you look at the actual, that's the Pokegear, if you look at the actual list here of gym leaders, over on the badges here, Price is intended to come after Jasmine. And frankly, given the whole route you would take, you know, you go left and then right, and you're doing everything over here. It, it should seem like this whole area should be a lot more challenging than it actually is. I don't know, maybe things will pick up from here given, well, this next gym leader is definitely intended for last. Hopefully we can get some switch training in for a horsey now. And, uh, because we are quite behind, and it actually will take quite a while to actually evolve to the final state. This guy over here is a fisher. I do kind of like the detail how with fishers that you battle, you typically have to talk to them before they'll start actually battling you, you know, uh, because they're busy fishing. And this is a Remoraid here, this is a brand new Pokémon for Generation 2. We got a familiar face here with Charmeleon, and we actually picked the starter in the last generation. And luckily Elliot here is able to, uh, to surf. And so we took care of it all on our own. Good job, Elliot. Do you know about the legendary bird Pokémon? I'm not sure if you're referring to the new legendary Pokemon in this game that are bird-like, or the bird trio from the last game. Over here now we have the Ice Path ahead. So this is a cave area, which unfortunately means the switch training we do with Elliot is abruptly going to be brought to a halt because we have random encounters and uh, I don't want to have us, like, not be able to run away and get killed. This is also a cave, I like the name Ice Path would suggest, that has the ice physics we had in Bryce's gym. So again, you want to do these things in this order, or at least it's suggested, it's highly suggested you do things in these order, but for some reason levels don't quite match up. At the very least we get to do more ice puzzle stuff, I always enjoy this in Pokemon games, you just kind of kind of figure it out. I'm not sure if encounters are active at this point. They probably aren't, I would think. Maybe they are, who knows. Hmm. How am I gonna get in there? I see I have to land from above to get onto that one. Which I can do by... Dropping down from the other side of this rock I'm on now, if I can somehow manage to get myself on the side of this. Or maybe that's not even how I'm supposed to go about this. Oh man, just <laughs> real close to the entrance. Oh, okay, no, no, we're on the right track now. Or maybe that was a wrong move. Was it? No, we're getting there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I see. We just had to go down and against this one on the wall here, then go across. And... Okay, that's just for an item. Hopefully the item isn't something I really want. I mean, maybe it is. Here we have Delibird. This is a new Ice-type Pokémon. I'm surprised that none of the trainers in the Ice-type gym were actually using it, since, you know, it's brand new, and a lot of the other Pokémon they were using weren't even Ice-types to begin with. It's like we got a classic strength puzzle here. This is here in the uh, the original Pokemon game, near the Elite Four in the, the end of that game. Here we have a Swinub. Um, and this is actually the Pokemon we're going to be catching. I waited for this because this is a male one, which matches up with the nickname I'm going to be using. Wait a minute. Do I have any Pokeballs at all? I don't know that I do. No, we have no Pokeballs. Uh, whoops. See you later, Swinub. I'll be back for you. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Actually, you know what? Why don't we wait until we get to the next town, then I'll buy Pokeballs at the Mart there. Because this last town we just went to, that doesn't even have a Mart, I don't think. Or at least it did, but that was the one we shut down with Lance. There's a lot of ice puzzles here, although it seems a lot of them are a bit more complex if you go after the items, and less complex if you just want to get out of here. Oh, uh, we should be- oh, that might be the exit right there, actually. Yeah, so now that we're out here- oh, this isn't a trainer. Hello! Wow, you came through the ice path? You must be a real hotshot trainer. That's all you got to say? All right, then. Uh, let's see. Blackthorn City, a quiet mountain retreat. So let's go ahead and go to the Pokemon Mart here in Blackthorn City, and we're going to buy uh, however many balls we need. They have Ultra Balls here, so I'm just going to buy a decent number of those. I'll go with eh, five. Five is a decent amount. And uh, they have Hyper Potions as well. Might as well get a couple of those. We have a lot of money now, a lot more than we had before. Also gonna have lots of revives. 
And we don't really need max potions. I mean, Hyper Potion heals plenty, especially for our level. Trainer tips. A Pokemon holding a Miracle Berry will cure itself of any status problem. Wow, that just kind of erases the need for Poison Cure Berries, Paralyzed Cure Berries, any of those. Claire and Lance trained here to hone their skills as trainers. So, the gym leader here in Blackthorn City is a woman named Claire. She's the cousin of Lance. So as you would expect, she's a dragon trainer, just like Lance is. Hello. I'm sorry, our gym leader is training in the cave beneath here. I have no idea when our leader will return. So we can't exactly do the gym just yet, we have to go into a cave and do some little puzzle there, but first things first, let's catch our new team member. Come on, Swinub. One, two... Ah, oh, three shakes but no catch. That's unfortunate. Okay, yeah, the Endure didn't work, but it's probably gonna go for Endure again. So, it'll live this hit. It didn't go for Endure. Oh. Uh, whoops. Okay, this time's working out a lot better. It's gonna Endure this hit. Because it didn't go for Endure in the first turn. It used Powder Snow. So now, it has just one health. And we have four Ultra Balls. Four chances to catch this one health swine up. Come on, swine up. Yes, first try, very nice. So we still have some Ultra Balls to spare, although the team is finally finished. Swine up the pig Pokemon. If it smells something enticing, it dashes headlong off to find the source of the aroma. Because the word little doesn't fit, we'll have to settle for Lil. Everyone, welcome to the team Lil Richard. So Swine up here is actually one of my favorite Pokemon, period. I just love, uh, I, I love the ice ground combination, I love the design and the evolution pile of swine, which you've already seen at this point with, um, with Price. One thing I want to make kind of clear before I end the episode is that, I mean, no disrespect or, or ridicule in any way, uh, naming my Pokemon after you know, classic singers and songwriters and such. I if anything, I mean the complete opposite. The reason I bring this up is because, you know, it it swine up is the pig Pokemon, and I guess the term pig could be seen as an offensive, uh, insult. Not to mention it doesn't help that Little Richard unfortunately passed away this year, which is just such a shame. He's one of my favorite singers of all time. If anything, a lot of the purpose of naming these Pokemon is just that they become kind of a staple name of the Let's Play that gets, uh, the name gets put out there so that you guys will go out and maybe listen to a Little Richard song or, in the last Let's Play's case, like an Artie Shaw or, uh, any of those kind of songs or, or pieces of music. Because I really do love the, that music. Uh, I think you guys would appreciate it too.